Russia at war with Ukraine these days. Russia is under economic pressure from the US and Europe. Also, global companies like Starbucks and McDonald's have withdrawn from Russia too. So, Russia is becoming more and more internationally isolated, and its image has been damaged a lot. But just a few years ago, let's recall the memory. To be honest, Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, his image was quite good in the past, don't you think? He showed a strong leadership. Therefore, he was honored to be selected as the most influential person in the world by Time magazine in 2014. And Russia was also one of the tourist places that many people wanted to visit. I also wanted to take Trans-Siberian Railway too. But after they started the war with Ukraine, Russia has been losing its economic, military, and national image. So I made conclusion. There is a pattern in Russia's history. It's a pattern of doing well and then suddenly collapsing because of a war. There are two steps of this historical pattern. First of all, step one of the pattern, thanks to various events, so Russia's power becomes very strong. It's almost top two in the world. But the problem is step two. They start a strange war with overconfidence. So Russia falls from top two to below the ranking. I think that Russia keeps repeating this pattern of history. Step one doing well, and step two suddenly collapsing because of a war. This kind of historical pattern occurred in Russia twice. First in the 1600s. Well, at the time, there was an emperor named Peter the Great in Russia. He was over two meters tall and a very handsome emperor. But what this handsome emperor did was, he hid his identity as the Russian emperor and he secretly crossed over to Western Europe from Russia. And despite being an emperor, he learned various new technology from Western Europe himself. Technology to make ships, what the city looks like, or something like law. He went with his Russian servants and learned all these new Western European technologies. And then he applied all those new technologies that he learned to the Russian Empire. So Russia could develop gradually. But Peter the Great achievements are not over here. The powerhouse of the Baltic Sea was not Russia, but Sweden. Traditionally, Sweden Kingdom was number one in the Baltic Sea. But Peter the Great, I mean Russia, fought a war with Karl XII, who was called the last flame of Sweden, and Russia won. And then Russia has become a powerful country that no one can ignore. But after time passed a little more, entering the 1800s, Russia has an event that rises to top two in the world. At that time, in the early 1800s, Europe was literally Napoleon's war. Almost all European countries except UK were under Napoleon's feet. In 1812, Emperor Napoleon attacked the Russian mainland to conquer. But isn't Russia the widest country? So Napoleon's army followed the retreating Russian army and got too tired. In the end, they were completely defeated by the Russian army. After that, France started to lose their power and Russia got a heroic nickname called the Liberator of Europe. It means that Russia rises to top two in the world. It was great momentum. But Russia couldn't keep this momentum. Something goes wrong like the step two of the pattern, to start a strange war. Russia had defeated Sweden Kingdom and Napoleon's France, so there was nothing to be afraid of. Therefore, Russia wanted to have a port that goes out to sea, that is, to the Mediterranean Sea from the mid-1800s. To do that, Russia army had to fight and win against the Ottoman Empire, which expanded its power around Turkey today. But at that time in the 1800s, the Ottoman Empire was called the sick man of Europe. So if Russia fought one and on with the Ottoman Empire, Russia would definitely win. But the problem was UK. As Russia kept growing like this at the time, so Great Britain thought they couldn't ignore Russia. If Great Britain keep leaving Russia like that, they were soon threatened by Russia too. So Great Britain persuaded the Ottoman Empire to declare war on Russia. Then UK joined forces with the France and attacked Russia. This war is the Crimean War of 1853. It is also famous for Nightingale's achievement. In the end, Russia suffered a bitter defeat by the Ottoman Empire and British French army, and Russia started to fall. Now, do you know what I mean? The history pattern of Russia? Russia did well and then suddenly collapsed because of a strange war. But this is not only once, it repeated the pattern during World War II. Russia. No, it was Soviet at the time. The Soviet Union played a very important role during World War II. They fought on the side of the Allies with the United States. 
In fact, it was the Soviet Union that gave KO punch to Nazi Germany, Hitler. There is a battle of Stalingrad. The Soviet Union completely surpassed the elite troops of Nazi Germany here. It was the battle that brings the victory of World War II to the Allied side. So, the Soviet Union, based on this time after World War II, it starts to grow into a very powerful country that competes with the United States for a world leader. But Russia in the 1800s, they attacked the Osman Empire rashly and lost their power. After World War II, the Soviet Union made another mistake like that. It's the Afghan War. The Soviet attacked Afghanistan in 1979 for various reasons. The goal was to establish a communist government in Afghan. Of course, a lot of experts expected to be easily won by Soviet Union. However, the Soviet Union struggled. For 10 years, the Soviet Union and Afghanistan fought a war, but neither one could clearly win. It's almost a draw. But the Soviets spent a lot of money on fighting the Afghan war. Also, around the same time, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant accident occurred. So in the end, the Soviet Union collapsed. In other words, it failed. How is it? The pattern repeats again. Doing well and suddenly falling because of a strange war. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, Russia quietly and secretly built up its strength again. Especially based on energy business such as oil. They seem to have tried hard to secure solid economic power. So Russia's economy improved a bit. Even President Putin was selected as the most influential person in the world by Time magazine. But as soon as Russia got better like this, it was 2022. Russia attacked Ukraine. Some experts predict that Ukraine would lose in a week. But the war between Ukraine and Russia has been going on for over a year now. And Russia is becoming more and more isolated. And Putin blew away his image that he had built up until then. Will Russia repeat their history in the Ukraine war? Personally, I remind of a quote from an old American president, Herbert Hoover. He said, Older men declare war, but it's youth that must fight and die. Thank you. <laughs>